Hi, so <laughs> I'm joining you from home. I'm all packed over here for the Vegas trip. I'm ready to go and I'm excited to see what Yuasa has in store for us, what AIM Expo has in store for us, what Las Vegas has in store for us. It's gonna be my first time going, so who knows. There will be other Moda vloggers there as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure who's like confirmed, but I know her two wheels will be there. I think so, we'll see. There's also a couple of TikTokers, a couple of Instagrammers going, so we should have like a good group to hang out with and go on some adventures with. I'm gonna be getting there a little bit early. Um, I'm gonna get there on the 18th. The show doesn't actually start officially until the 19th, so um, I'll have some time to explore on my own, which I'm excited about. Yeah, let's go on this adventure together. And we're back. Quick update, it's 3 a.m. I'm just about to head out, enjoying one final warm tea before I go out there into the cold, frigid temperature. I'm excited to be getting away from Pennsylvania for a few days for slightly warmer temperatures, but I don't think Las Vegas is gonna be that warm. I'm guessing they won't have snow in the desert, so. <laughs> All right, let's get the show on the road. you guys I have the AIM Expo behind me before we get into today's video though I do want to take a second to thank Yuasa who is my sponsor they're the ones that are sending me out here to be able to make this cool video for you guys and show you what the AIM Expo is all about so we're definitely gonna be stopping by their booth today I asked you guys a couple of weeks ago actually to see if you had any questions about motorcycle batteries in general like what was your burning desire that you need to know about and actually a lot of you had some of the same questions so we're gonna be going over to the booth later today and we're going to be asking the uh, experts at UASA Battery a little bit more about uh, motorcycle battery maintenance and things like that because that's what you guys had a lot of questions on. So this will be a nice kind of like compliment to the information that my dad um, gave you guys when we made uh, the video together. I'll link that in the cards here if you want to go check that out. But before we do that today, actually, it's uh, Wednesday, January 19th. Um, I need to go find the booth for dealer news because if you guys don't know, I was nominated to be one of the top 100 women in power sport. So today they're doing a little like thank you uh, celebratory lunch for us. So I need to find out where that is. So without any further ado, let's go check out the AIM show. Look who it is. Look who I found. That's Jess. It's her two wheels. You made it. Yeah. Oh did my you God. get lost? I didn't get lost. It was really confusing. I went upstairs, which is there's another show upstairs, which is like sports and something else. And, and it's I was like a concrete convention. <laughs> yeah, I was walking around and I saw Hanes, like the underwear brand, and I'm like, that's a weird brand for it to show up at like the Amex Sport. What does that have to do with Power Sports? It was so awkward. Butt cushion, I don't know. I was like, I didn't realize I was walking around the wrong convention. <laughs> we have more people. We got Jess, we've got Stacy, and we have Amanda. Everyone's here, everyone, every awesome lady that you see here today, I will be putting a link to their channels in the description. So if you want to follow yeah. other awesome lady moto vloggers, there will be no shortage of information in this vlog on them. <laughs> all right, I found the dealer news booth. They told me where to go, we're all set. So now we're gonna go check out Yuasa batteries. I've got my list of questions lined up that you guys all were curious to know about. So we're gonna ask, we're gonna ask Yuasa. All right, you guys, I'm here with Scott from the UASA booth. So Scott, can you tell us what you do at UASA? Uh, at UASA, I do a few different things. Uh, I help with marketing. I do help with some sales. Uh, and I also do product development. So I do a little bit of everything. Awesome. Well, I have a whole list of things that people want to know about batteries, but it seems like most out of like, all of these are uh, somewhat similar. You guys wanted to know what you have to do to correctly maintain your motorcycle battery, especially in the winter. So Scott, can you help us out here? Sure. Uh, I, one other thing I do help with you, Asa, I also help with it. If you call in for a technical, you, you get you get my extension. To maintain a battery for the, during the winter, you have to use a battery maintainer, charger maintainer. Our main charger maintainers are tested on our battery. So that is why we suggest to use our, our charger maintainers. It's best to use it during the winter. Batteries uh, do draw down during the winter, especially because most people do not not realize all power source vehicles all batteries have a parasitic draw turn even though you have the vehicle turned off it's going to be pulling power from the battery have a speedometer 
a voltmeter, you have a clock, all of them are gonna be pulling power from your battery. If you do not use a power sports maintainer, the battery will end up too low to start the vehicle. So my dad is also, he is a battery technician, so he knows, and we did a whole video with my dad asking him questions, and that's one of the things he mentioned as well. Uh, he also said that you should, if you're not gonna put it on maintainer, at least disconnect the battery from the terminal, so I guess you don't have that parasitic draw. Yes, it will help a lot if you, if you do dis, uh, disconnect it, uh, but there's, it's still best to put it on a maintainer. That way it'll keep the battery up to full charge. So a lot of us that live or ride up in the north, and you know because you're from the UASA headquarters is up north in Pennsylvania, uh, we kind of winterize our motorcycles for the winter. So for example, mine's in storage right now, but I'll go back and I'll like turn it on every couple of weeks, like every two or three weeks if I can. But if we're like storing them away for winter for like three or four months, uh, what, what's our best practices around that? Should we be turning the bike on every once in a while? Actually, I, I, I consider no on the turning the bike on and off because if motorcycles and power sports, their charging systems are not really a good charging system for the vehicle. Uh, when you start the vehicle up, you might get a little bit of a charge, but the charging systems only work at 2,500 to 3,000 RPM. Oh, so that, okay. that way you're not getting a full charge if you start the vehicle up. Oh, plus wow, if I you no start idea. it up, plus when you start the vehicle up and it's sitting inside, you're not getting the, all the fluids through, through the vehicle itself. So you're actually not doing it doing the uh, vehicle any justice by just starting the vehicle up. Oh, that's it's news best to me. To use, best to use the charger slash maintain. And uh, so one of the other questions that people had was uh, how often should we be replacing our batteries slash what are also some signs that the battery might be about to die? That's really up to the person and also the, yeah. <laughs> the vehicle itself. If you do not use a charger maintainer, of course, you're gonna have to replace the battery a lot quicker. With the use of the charger maintainer, we see anywhere from five, to 10 years. Oh, We've wow. actually just had somebody the other day call in and he had his 18 years on his Honda ATV. Oh my gosh. Incredible, it's a great, as long as you use a charger maintainer, you can get a lot more years out. Some of the signs of your battery going, of course, when you turn the key on, you, you try to start it, it doesn't start immediately. It just starts giving that uh, kind of a rough, rough sound, a sluggish. That's giving a, a sign where the battery is getting weak. In that sense, put a charger maintainer on it, and hopefully that can bring it back up to full power. It might bring it back, we can't promise everything. <laughs> uh, I remember someone, um, like on the video I made this commenting, one of you said that if your lights are flickering, or if you see your lights flickering when your bike is on, that that might be a sign it's going. Flickering your lights, uh, is that? That could be. Uh, if the lights are flickering and your speedometer's bouncing up and down, it, do it will have something to do with the battery. It could be the battery, or it could be something with your charging system. That's true. If you have electrical <laughs> issues, that might could, be a separate thing. Right, it could be your, your stator, it could be your voltage regulator rectifier. If that's not working correctly, that's gonna hurt your battery right off the bat. So somebody also wanted to know about uh, if there's any warranty on the uh, UASA batteries. How does that work? Well, with the UASA batteries, we give uh, our distributors are in charge of the wa of the, the warranties. Most of them will give a year warranty on them. You will have to go back to your dealer and the, the dealer will take care of the warranty. All right, well, thank you so much, Scott, for answering all of our questions. And thank you to UASA again for sponsoring this video. All right, we're gonna head over to the um, Women in Power Sports dealer news event right now. <laughs> and I'll show you guys what that's all about. We've got all the lovely ladies. We've got Amanda Zito from As The Magpie Flies, Stacey Will from Ride to Food and also J Rod Racing from Revzilla. Who she works? You work at for Revzilla's. Yes. Revzilla. Revzilla. <laughs> Unsponsored. That is our <laughs> very Italian. Revzilla. Revzilla. It's like, all right, you're done. You're kicked out of the affiliate program. Can't even say her name right. So impressed by your coordination skills. Right now. <laughs> Jennifer works at Revzilla's <laughs> Media Lead. So actually the people that are giving a presentation today um, from the Iron Lily project, you told me that um, her husband uh, started the Farrell Harley Davidson in uh, Jess's town, which is like the longest running Harley dealership in the world. Stand by. Longest running. Also Amanda's here. Amanda does a lot of like off-road camping videos and she's a great storyteller. So if you want to go follow her channel, um, yeah, links will be in the description. And then Stacy over there, she has an Instagram page called Ride to Food. So you basically ride to food. Yeah, that's what I do. She also does a lot of really awesome, beautiful camping. So definitely recommend it. They gave us a goodie bag, you guys, and there's actually some cool, <laughs> there you're filming. <laughs> and there's some cool goodies in here, including some books. So I want to show you guys. This is what I'm here for. 
Getting started riding motorcycles, the definitive guide for women. Oh my God, this is freaking awesome. Thank you, Alyssa, for making this book. I do actually want to end up going to the Cardo booth and a couple of other uh, places I want to say hello to. I saw that eBay Motors is here, so I want to go say uh, hi to them because I've worked with eBay Motors before, like before I was even doing, um, before I was even doing YouTube, I was working with eBay Motors on Instagram to do like, basically just to promote eBay Motors. Look at this place though, it's huge. It's so empty. It's empty back here, the show is back there, but like they had to put the lounge, I guess, all the way in the back. <laughs> you guys, I was walking around and look who I came across. Hi. Sammy Marquez. It's me. <laughs> and her beautiful and cameraman. The cameraman with a shit on the horns and the Yeah, camera. he said to ignore him, but it's kind of hard to miss you with that on your head. <laughs> Sammy does a yes. bunch of cool videos on TikTok. You also post them to Instagram Reels, so I'll leave a link to her channels and her TikTok page down below. As usual, everything will be linked below. Oh yeah, for sure. That's my track bike. <laughs> yeah, this is track bike. We're showing World Superbike. Who's winning right now? Schultz. I'm not too familiar with World Superbike. I'm more of a MotoGP person. We're gonna go see what cool helmet flare uh, Sammy's booth has. I had a moto vlogging helmet. I, I don't, I have a different one now, but I had like a helmet mohawk on it. <laughs> oh, I know, I see that. <laughs> so, I'll put a picture on the screen for you guys. I love that thing. But well, people are like, oh, only noobs wear helmet mohawks. I'm like, well, I'm not a noob anymore and I still I like mean, it. It doesn't really matter. Is that a banana hat? That's oh a banana, God. yeah. Wait, is this magnetized? Yes. So, so it's attached the to the helmet. Banana helmet horns, you guys. Now that is something I've never seen before. How awesome is that? I actually love that. That's so good. <laughs> Yesterday I saw like, uh, like a yellow Lamborghini and I called it a banana. I was like, look at the banana, you guys. <laughs> This would have been perfect. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's go check out what Cardo is up to. We gotta go say hi to the Cardo team. Cardo squad. <laughs> oh, Cardo, Cardo fam. Cardo fam, my bad. Cardo fam, sorry, sorry. All right, guys, let's see what's new in the Cardo sphere. What? Ooh, these ones. These this ones I haven't seen yet. Spirit, yeah. 99 bucks. Oh, free comm lines getting taken away. Okay. Introducing the Spirit line I'll and say. the free comm X line. Huge shout out to Cardo for providing me with hydration. I've been looking for water the whole time I've been walking around. And Mike over here is just like, I got you. Pulls out this giant cold water the, the bottle. Cardo Oasis. The Cardo Oasis. <laughs> the Cardo Oasis in the AIM desert. I always like saying hi to the Cardo team. I've met them a couple times before. Actually, you've seen, uh, you've seen me talk to them before at the uh, Get On Moto Fest back in May. Oh, and a bunch of <laughs> You're about to like, he's trying to, he's trying to like selfie bomb my video. <laughs> I know one of you guys asked me about um, like to see if there's any like virtual, um, like heads up display technologies here. And I haven't seen anybody doing something like that, but I just talked over with the, the guys at the Cardo booth about like there used to be somebody that had like a company that had this thing that you could like attach on your helmet, but it was really, uh, clunky and bulky, but it did give you like a heads up display. But I don't think they're here today because we're not even sure if they're pursuing that product anymore. So unfortunately, no cool like helmet technology, VR display, you know, stuff like that here at the AIM Expo. Y'all, but check out what I sell. It's the Triumph Tiger 1200. You guys saw me uh, do a couple Instagram stories on that when they did their launch party in New York City. That was kind of cool. Zero Motorcycles is also here. I'm trying to find trying to find the bike that I rode at the uh, IMS show. I don't know if they have it here. It's basically like uh, the, the naked, upright naked version of Spicy Boy, the electric version of him. Literally the one that's front and center. It was this guy. Oh, yes. This is the guy that I got to ride. I actually liked it. I have like a, I have a video or I had a video filmed, but I think my audio, um, my audio like I didn't rec I didn't start recording audio for some reason so I never I never actually published it but um a great little bike awesome to see basically a, a electric version of spicy boy I wish the people weren't in the way or I could get you a better view of it but yeah there it is let's go see what bike Suzuki brought Ooh, I see one front and center there in this in the middle that I have not seen before Let's see what the heck this thing is. GSX-S and a GT Plus. This seems like a sport touring bike. Like, I mean, a sport touring sport bike. Not even a sport touring bike. It's straight up like a sport touring sport bike. 
wow, this thing is actually really unique and cool. These mirrors remind me of like uh, the Kawasaki actually. <laughs> that is an interesting side profile. I think it, it's, <laughs> I think it may be more of a uh, sport bike look if they took the saddlebags off, but the with the saddlebags on, it looks like it could be straight up a sport bike that's made for touring. Maybe uh, a sport touring lolly, good job. Uh, GSX 1000, naked, uh, naked leader bike. What do you guys think? All right, so the first uh, official day of AIM Expo is over, but there is an industry party happening uh, in the same convention center, in the same hall, just like towards the back there that we're heading to now. So hopefully all the other moto vloggers are gonna be there. I know I'm really tired, but uh, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> I just realized, I don't know why I have my mask on right now, just because I have to wear it inside the hotel and I keep forgetting to take it off when I uh, get outside. Cuba Libre. <laughs> what did you get? Oh, scotch and, scotch and Coke. Scotch and Coke. I got rum and Coke. <laughs> YouTube, I'm sorry. Getting a little bit more Las Vegas action, hanging out with Josh here. We're seeing Los Caesars Palace, the Bellagio, the light show and stuff like that before we head in for the night. Expo. Let's go visit the Yuasa booth. I think somebody there had um, something to give me. Let's say hi to Scott again. And then I also realized I didn't say <laughs> I didn't say thank you to him for like helping us out. I mean, I said thank you like in real life, but I never like closed it off properly on camera. So I'll have to go back and uh, redo that. Look, you guys, Scott from the Yuasa booth uh, made me into a proper looking Yuasa employee. <laughs> this is actually a super nice hoodie. I like it. I look very official now. I look like I really belong here now. <laughs> With the camera in my head and official Yuasa swag, we're good to go. I stole the Yuasa logo. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we'll get it back. But we're gonna go take a cool looking thumbnail with the AIM Expo entrance. I wanna show you guys the uh, sticker wall at AIM Expo. Jess for her two wheels told me. I think she left her sticker on here somewhere. Can we, do we see it anywhere? That's just a sticker. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should add mine here, but I don't know what they're gonna do with this wall. I feel like they're just gonna throw it away. <laughs> so I don't wanna like put my sticker on there. I feel like I need to show you more of the motorcycles that are here. Oh, look at this bad boy, this lime green color. That's gorgeous. Look at that color, you guys. Benelli. <laughs> Benelli. <laughs> what is this one? 302S. I love this headlight. Like this is a headlight design done correctly, Yamaha, take notes. <laughs> so I know like next to nothing about Benelli motorcycles. So you're experiencing this for the first time with me. Touring adventure bike. I feel like with this much luggage, you would be set for a good like week long trip, maybe even more. What's the engine size on this one? I didn't even check. Oh, it's only 500 cc's. Dang, it looks way larger. I think it looks way larger because it has the saddlebags on there. Wow, look at this thing. Whoa, check this out. I just noticed this little detail. That's kind of cool. Leoncino. It's a Leoncino. <laughs> That's cool. What's the displacement? Also 500 cc. Perfect, they got the notches in the, in the levers in case you dump it. That was honestly my first time ever looking at Benelli motorcycles in real life. I almost had like not even recognized the name. 
Guys, I was just telling Jess that the nice thing about uh, being a woman <laughs> at a power sports conference is that there's no lines for the ladies' bathroom. It's like, just us. <laughs> and here, yeah, for once, we don't have to wait in line to use the bathroom. And we still go to the bathroom groups. <laughs> yeah, of course. Can't go alone, just, just gotta make sure. Or do you guys wave to scooters? I wanna know, I wave to scooters. I'm loving this red. It's not a Ducati red, it's more of a Honda red. And yes, there's definitely a difference between a Honda red and a Ducati red. Oh my God, check this thing out. It reminds me of the Hunter Honda's little monkey. <laughs> what is this thing anyway? The Warrior 200. Oh my God, look at these chubby tires. <laughs> this one looks like a cross between a bicycle and a dirt bike. I don't know why it's giving me those kind of vibes. Like, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a little bit like a dirt bike slash bicycle? You guys, look at how compact this thing is. The side profile of this, like I, I feel like I could just pinch it between my fingers, it's so tiny. I'm not gonna lie though, the seat doesn't look very comfortable at all. The first and only Aprilia I've seen at this entire shore, this is the R RSV4. Is that supposed to be like that or is that like broken? I can't tell. I think it's supposed to be like that. Hey yo, I found the Bridgestone tires I had on my Ninja 250. Well, it wasn't these, it was the Battle Axe BT45's sport touring tires. They uh, they lasted me a long time, would recommend. Here's the Pan America. I still can't believe I rode this thing in the Mojave Desert. I didn't master it, but I definitely learned. I learned a lot of lessons on it. Whoa, this is not, I don't think this is the stock exhaust unless it's got like a cover on it or something. Cast Tech, I've never heard of that. It looks good though. I like it better than the other, um, the ones that we were riding just had like a chrome finish or a, a matte, <laughs> matte chrome finish. This one looks a little more sleek on it. But all right, somebody that does uh, off-roading more than I do is gonna have to explain these foot pegs to me because is that just so you can like rest your feet up there or what's the point of those? Because you're usually riding standing more than sitting, but I can't imagine you'd be standing here. I guess it's probably just to rest your feet if you're actually on the road with it. Hey yo, tip about Muck Off Moto, I use their chain cleaner to actually rub uh, all the gunk that gets stuck on the headers of Spicy Boy, so I don't use it to clean my chain at all, but it works uh, very well for the, the grease on the engine, this thing. Got this thing at Revzilla, would recommend. I see a fancy Moto America bike here. Very cool. I'm not a, a big follower of Moto America, so I'm not sure whose uh, motorcycle this is. I like that M4 exhaust. It's number 85. So who's number 85 in Moto America? I actually wonder if Google Lens will be able to understand that I'm looking at a Moto America bike. Let's find out. Um, close. It got close. Not quite. Okay, not gonna lie, I got super excited because I thought this said Sherlock, and I'm a huge Sherlock fan, but that, it did not. However, it did catch my attention, so now I'm showing it to you guys. There are so many motorcycle brands here that I did not even know existed. I'm glad I came to the show because I'm getting uh, educated right now. This thing looks like a motorcycle Satan might ride. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's Spicy Boy's cousin. Spicy Boy's uglier cousin, if I, if I, if I uh, may say that. So I'm not a fan of the look of the uh, new MT-07 headlights, I just think. I just think they could have done more of it. Are you guys digging this wood look? If you like wood looking stuff, check out these guys. Fusini. I can't say I'm a fan, but they are unique. So I found the media room, which is like a nice little quiet place for me to sit down and try and edit a little bit of footage, but check out what is at the table. They put little decorations. Of course I had to sit next to the bird. All right, you guys, that is a wrap on AIM Expo 2022 for me. It seems like today is a more chill day. Some of the moto vloggers have already flown out. There's actually one more day of the show left, uh, but I have to leave uh, early because science beckons, you guys. Science beckons, that's right. We must find a way to fit motorcycles and science all in one. See you guys in the next one.